Hey guys, it's Jonas from Unlimited Weight Till Hunting. I am hunting here in West Virginia um, with my wife right over here. Three cannon uh, camcorders. I'm gonna do a camera review of sorts tonight. This is the G20, the Bixia HF G20. That's our old one. We no longer use unless we have to. And then I have the G50, Canon Bixia HF G50, which records in 4K. G60. Three different models. I'm going to share with you what I like the best about them and what I don't like about them. And then I'll show you guys some footage tonight. Hopefully, we'll have some deer out here in the field that I can video Barbara shooting tonight. So we'll see. I don't know if I'll be able to get uh, video of the same deer from all three cameras. But I'll try them. I'm, I'm holding them by hand because I don't have a tripod with me. I do have my camera arm, but there's no tree here big enough to attach it to. I'm just sitting in the weeds right on the edge of a field. And uh, Joan and I did this, um, let's see, was it last week? Last Friday night, Black Friday, and was able to shoot a buck and a doe right out of the edge of this field just before dark so first things first <clears throat> my favorite of these three cameras is the G50 and the reason why is you see the size difference they're both 4k the G50 and the G60 the 50 is quite a bit more compact, I mean by several inches, and fatness as well, big difference. Um, this one, the 50, has 20x zoom, optical zoom, and if I was to go video in a field like this where I'm going to possibly see deer you know a hundred plus yards away 20 plus zoom a 20x zoom is better than 10x on the G20 this is 10x and the G60 has 15x so a little bit more zoom on this one now the sensor on this one is smaller. The G60 has a bigger sensor and therefore is better in low light. And I have noticed that this one, the last 10 minutes before dark, it is not going to have the lighting that this one does. So if you want, and if you're if you're serious about videoing that hunt, the last first 10 minutes or the last 10 minutes of legal shooting light. This one's going to be your better bet. But for everything else, I'm going to pick this one. Better zoom, more compact, still 4K, overall an awesome camera. I'm the type of guy that I just need to know how it works, know it works, which are the basic settings. Most of the time I'm on automatic as far as focus. Uh, very rarely do I put it in manual and you know try to focus um, I try to set up in a place where I don't have to worry about videoing through uh, brush or leaves if I don't have to and then I don't have to worry too much about the manual focus so I do have a microphone as well this microphone is uh, fits on this one. 
and the 60. We have been using it on the 50. And I just... This is a non-powered mic. In other words, there's no battery in it. Uh, you don't need a battery or a powered mic for the 50 or the 60. So, this one seems to work just fine. If it's a little windy, um, good, good mic for that. I did order a second one, so I have one for the 50 and the 60, but it has not arrived yet. Um, when I got the 60, there was one included, but it was a battery powered power mic, and took it hunting about two times, and the battery was dead. So, and then it doesn't work until you put a new battery in it. So for me, that's that's not good. Um, if you don't need the power mic, get one that doesn't require the battery. So you can just plug it in and use it. So, anyway, I'll show you guys some footage tonight of the, the different cameras, um, the 20, the 50, the 60. You'll, you'll see that the 4K 1560 probably not much difference in footage except the 50 will zoom in a little bit further a little closer than the 60 will but and then I'll try to get some last light footage as well so you guys can see the difference between the 50 and the 60 side by side at the same lighting uh, or within you know a minute or so so hopefully we'll get to see some deer shoot some deer in the process okay guys this is the G20 Let's zoom in on that treetop up there. That's as far as it goes. Okay guys, here's the G50. Zooming in on the same treetop. That is all the way to zoomed in. That should be twice as much zoom power. 20x instead of 10x. Okay, here's the uh, G60. I think this zoom is set to come in a little faster, but you guys can see it's not a huge difference between this one and the G50 on that zoom, I don't think. Boom, somebody's shooting. Alright guys, the sun's just been, just went over the hill. Let me zoom in on that sign down there. Sign. That's the G50 here. G20 
360. I want to focus properly. I think it's because it's getting too dark. We noticed that before. Still no deer. Alright, now let me quickly get you the G60. Zoom back in on this patch of weeds over here. Look at the difference in the lighting of the G60 and the G50. And turn on your GoPro before it gets close. up a little bit closer you can shoot if you want it's probably a doe could it but it could be a button buck but it's right in line with the road now it's got to get up closer I'm just gonna keep recording with the G60 Did you see another one I just seen one see it it's just off the corner yet probably want to zoom in on your scope can you see it Finer 
behind the scope. Yeah. Still got five minutes. G60 is getting blurry too. Running out of focus. It's getting a little bit too dark. Girl, walk up here. Yeah. I mean, she's broadside there, or almost. But it's right in line with the road. She just goes 10 yards to the right. You'd have a better shot. How much time we got left? <sighs> Two minutes. It's 5.34 now. She's not. She's supposed to turn and come over here, so it's behind the hill to shoot. I got the background safe right now. It's just staying right there in line with the road. She's supposed to be over here. Cut for time. One more minute. Check, uh, take your binoculars and check and see if there's any other deer out here. even with that brush pile but or that thicket but yeah it's not focusing anymore sorry guys too dark <laughs> 